All right, this video is going to walk you through how to solve exponential equations for x when both sides of the equation have the same base factor. For starters, the goal when you solve these kinds of questions is to first of all get the base the same on both sides, and then we'll solve the exponent, exponent equation that's left. So here's how it goes. As you look at the very first question, there's a 4 and there's also a 64. Those are not the same. So what we want to do is we want to break those down. So first of all, the 4 breaks apart into 2 and 2. The 64 breaks apart into 8 and 8, 4 and 2, 2 and 2, and also the 4, 2, and then 2 and 2 again. So as you look at these things, you're going to start looking at and going, well, how many 2s make up the number 4? There are two 2s that make up the number 4. How many 2s make a 64? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six 2s of that. So that means then when we write the equation, we can rewrite the number 4 as 2 squared. We can rewrite the number 64 as 2 to the 6th. Then, as you've replaced the 64 and the 4 with those two new expressions, we now have a power to a power. Whenever we have a power to a power, you multiply. So if I take 2 times 3x, you get 6x. And if I take 6 times 4x and 6 times negative 21, I'll get 2 to the power of 24x minus 126. Then, from there, what I want to do is I want to look at this and as if the bases are the same, then the exponents have to be the same. So then I'm going to focus in on just the exponent part of the equation. And now I'll say 6x equals 24x minus 126. And then from there, what I want to do is I want to get x alone by itself. So I, what I'll do is I'll subtract 24x to both sides. Subtract 24x to this side as well. And then I'll have negative uh, 18x equals 126. And then finally, I'll divide by negative 18 to both sides, and x will equal 7. That's it. Now, let's try two more to see if we can get, do this a little bit faster. As you'll notice, this next one here, they have different bases, but this base does not break down any further. So in this case, then, we want to break the 625 down into two numbers that you can multiply to get to 625. I chose 25 and 25. You could have picked anything else, 5 and 125 or whatever you want. Then keep breaking it down to see how many total 5s multiply to give you 625. In my case, I've got four 5s that make 625. So I'll re-express the 625 with 5 to the 4th. And then from there, I'll then have my power to a power, which means I'll multiply 4 times 4x and 4 times the 117 fourths. That then turns into 5 to the power of 16x minus 117. And then I'll keep the same thing on the left side. Also, then, from there, my 5s are now the same. Once they are the same, I'm going to focus on the exponents. Now they have to also be the same. So that means then negative 2x equals 16x minus 117. Then from there, what I want to do is I want to uh, get rid of the 16x. So I'll subtract 16x to both sides, 16x to this side, and then cross these out, and then I'll end up getting negative 18x equals 117. And then from there, I'll divide by negative 18 to both sides, and x will equal 6.5. Now notice what we're trying to do here so far. When the bases start out different, we break them down, like we did here, say how many of whatever that factor is, is with an exponent, and then do our power to a power, where we multiply. Let's try one last one. If I've got 4 and 2, they're both pretty small, right? But 4 is not the same as 2, so we break the 4 down, 2 squared. So I'll replace that with 2 squared, and then I'm going to take my power to a power. Well, I'll multiply 2x times, or 2 times x and 2 times 2, which will give me 2x plus 4. And then from there, my bases are now the same. I'll then cross out my uh, bases, and then I'm just going to be looking at this part right here, where 2x plus 4 equals 3x plus 9. Finally, I'll, um, from there, I'm going to try to subtract 2x to both sides to keep this nice and positive here. Then those will cross out, and then I'll have 4 equals x plus 9. And the last step would be to subtract 9 to both sides, and 4 minus 9 gives you negative 5. That's basically it. I hope you've seen enough to these three examples to know how to do problems like this.